Okay, here we go. This is Real Flight uh, 4.5, and we're going to show you the uh, performance. I'm going to launch this uh, so I can uh, from the beginning, so you can kind of see what it's like on load time and everything. Yeah, and it kind of blows. And it's on a netbook, ASUS 1000HE, running an N280 processor with a 945GM chipset. And uh, Phoenix uh, did really well. Uh, real flight, not so good. The settings are set to as low as possible. Actually, it uh, installed that way. It said that my chipset was not, uh, or graphics wasn't that great or something, and it was uh, running in the most efficient mode um, it, due to sacrifice of uh, graphics performance or quality. And as you can tell, <laughs> this is really horribly slow to even load. Uh, there we go. Finally got something there. <coughs> so we'll see what it's like. I got a T-Rex 500 loaded. And uh, that should come up as well. But it's real choppy. Things move around. The uh, Again, this is a very low... Killigan. Now you're going to make me do a whole new video. <laughs> Here we go. So um, let's see what it's like. It looks like it's all loaded now. As you can see, just really. Oh. I think I just broke a skid. Alright, so I'm a wreck way back here. I can't even. I'm a wreck way back there. Okay. And I want, I'm doing that so you can kind of see when it zooms in how choppy. Well, normally it uh, zooms in. But anyway, it's really not all that. Uh, impressive at all. So if Phoenix, for one, has anything above or better than the real flight, uh, I know it's all debatable. People feel the physics are better in Phoenix, but I really think the T-Rex 500 flies a little more realistic, personally. But uh, that right there, just on the performance alone, Phoenix really outshines real flight just on a, a pure, uh, you know, hardware requirement level. So. There you go. Uh, Netbooks is uh, game over for real flight, uh, but Phoenix, awesome. So uh, hopefully that uh, solves and helps some people out. See you. Bye.